Hello, I'm Mirka, I'm from Slovakia and I was a volunteer here in Finland last year for 12 months. I worked in a project called Kisali in the village Vihti and I work with uh, mentally or other way disabled uh, people. Uh, in uh, Kisali it's, meant, uh, it's focused on uh, working with disabled people in a creative way. So we made carpets or some other uh, stuff from textile or cloth. And our task as a volunteers was to support them in their work. I shared flat uh, with another volunteer. Uh, the flat is, let's say, two kilometers away from the organization. In Kisali, I learned how to work with uh, disabled people, and I fell in love with the work. And now I try to uh, continue with this work, and I applied for in the, to university for this type of work. So it actually opened my mind to this world. And also, I learned so many personal things like how to be alone, live alone and manage my time but also the creative work like uh, weaving on uh, uh, weaving the carpets or crocheting or uh, knitting my own scarf or socks it was a really nice experience uh, I would recommend volunteering to anybody who is interested in getting to know another culture even if it is in Europe and you are from European country it's always good to know new country, new people, meet new friends I made a lot of friends and we keep, keep in touch so there is always the contact there uh, in Finland you can experience the Finnish winter and the Finnish darkness during winter. The Finnish nature is really beautiful, but also like the historical cities like Porvo or Turku, but also the capital Helsinki is really nice and you can walk anywhere and there is always something nice to see. The Finnish language, language is even more difficult than you think it is. I learned just the basics like moi which means hello or kitos which is thank you but you will make fun of the language somehow and you will make it your own way uh, the communication with the people in my project was mainly like you have to do this I will go there and I will show you it if you understand yeah good if not I will ask someone else to like uh, make or show it to you so I did not really need it the Finnish language but uh, and of course everyone here speaks English but of course uh, the basic phrases are good to know yeah I uh, talked in English with the staff sometimes it, you can feel alone or lonely so it's always good to manage your own time and uh, how to meet with people or how to plan some trips or anything or just go to the forest to walk or something like that the things I learned or the things I got from this experience are far more higher than the difficulties I like I developed myself I changed myself you don't really need anything specific when you come to Kisali or you just need to prepare yourself for with working with disabled people. Uh, don't be afraid to apply for this uh, project. And if you have any questions, yeah, just contact anyone you can. And if you are really not sure, just try to visit uh, some places like school or which works with the disabled people and see if you like the job or not. And then you can decide.